Alright, hello guys and welcome to your April 19th severe weather outlook. Today we're going to be looking at your day one categorical outlook and you can see that we do have a moderate risk of severe weather. I think this is our second or third moderate risk of the year, so this is a pretty big deal. Uh, particularly the location is a little odd and unusual, so we're going to be going over that. We, we do have two areas of general thunderstorm risk and usually we do not see with severe weather within these, but it is possible. So the two light green areas, uh, pay attention. There's one there for uh, the northwest United States and then one for the East Coast and Gulf States as you can see as we head into the dark green that's where we start to see isolated events of severe weather uh, within those we do see reports from time to time within those and that's where we again see isolated severe weather in the yellow region which is the slight region we start to see a little bit more scattered severe weather usually within those uh, we do see severe weather it is expected and within the enhanced we start to see a little bit more widespread severe weather there's usually, you know, quite a bit of reports within these. And then moderate risks, that's where we expect to see uh, it pretty much cluttered with reports of severe weather within those. So South Carolina, North Carolina, and Central Southern Virginia, pay attention because there should be, you know, very widespread severe weather within that region as we go on today. And we're already seeing tornado warnings and things like that. So it does look like it's going to be an active day for you guys in the moderate risk. And this is kind of like a, you know, one to three time a year event for the East Coast having a moderate risk there so it's kind of a big deal uh, here's your wind risk and you can see we do this is all for within a 25 mile location so within the 5% uh, region we have a 5% chance of severe wind within 25 miles of a given location within the brown color in the 15% chance we have a 15% chance of severe wind within 25 miles of a given location within their 30% chance uh, within the red region of severe wind within 25 miles of a location and then 45 percent chance of severe wind within 25 miles of a location uh, within that pink region and then in the hatched region that's where we expect significant severe wind to be possible so expect really gusty wind within those regions uh, because we, we are seeing the potential for you know even like a like a higher level of of severe wind to be possible so the intensity of severe wind could be worse within that hatched region so pay attention because it could get quite bad for you guys in South Carolina, North Carolina and Virginia. Here's your hail risk and you can see there's not a big hail risk today. There's two areas, one for Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia and Kentucky there, 5% chance within 25 miles of a location and then one for South Carolina and North Carolina there, 5% uh, chance of with of hail within 25 miles of a given location within that brown region now your tornado risk we have two two percent areas one for again tennessee virginia west virginia and kentucky that's a two percent re region for a to or two percent chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a given location and then one there for the east coast with, of the same uh, percentage and then we have a brown region within that east coast one where there's five percent chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a given location and then one for uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia, that, that yellow region, there's 10% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a given location. That's quite uh, moderate on the tornado scale, so this could be a pretty big tornado day too, uh, so pay attention as well for tornadoes, as we could be seeing tornado warnings, and I think we already are in North Carolina uh, last time I checked. Now, day two categorical outlook, we have two areas of general thunderstorms, one for southern New England, and then one there for California, Nevada, Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah. So do not, we're not really expecting severe weather, but it is possible, so pay attention. Uh, but really, we're not looking at too much of a chance for any severe weather. Uh, and then kind of the same story for day three, which is going to be Sunday, Easter. Uh, we have a general thunderstorm risk from Nevada up through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, up into Iowa, uh, Iowa Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, Illinois, Missouri. And then we have a general thunderstorm within that, uh, or a marginal risk there for Kansas, and uh, that's where we expect, again, isolated reports of severe weather, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal on day three. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe today if you're on the East Coast. It's going to be very dangerous out there. Uh, pretty big severe weather outbreak today for you guys. Again, pretty unusual, so this is kind of like a uh, only a handful of these things happen a year for you guys on the East Coast. So really pay attention. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next video.